Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Fallout 4. So, when we left off, we had to go talk to some guy. It wasn't her. Um, but yeah, we had to go talk to some guy in uh, Bunker Hill, which is where we're at right now. And I'm presuming it's this guy, and he's like friendly with the railroad or something like that. Um, and he wants us to do something for him. We have a Geiger counter. Absolutely. I was expecting someone of the feminine. Apparently, he thought we were going to be female. Not entirely sure why. That's right. Let's just play along with this guy for a little while. You've just joined, haven't you? All you need to know is this is the first stop for all our new packages. So maintaining proper security here and preventing any unnecessary delays is crucial. No one likes delays. I got you. No yeah. problem. Delays have a habit of creating all sorts of problems. It's bad business. My current package has been in my possession far too long. You and me I'm both. I'm supposed to deliver the package to some place nearby. But raiders have complicated matters. So, if you could... So, I just need to wipe out a few raiders. Done. <laughs> I like you already. It's scheduled to be a nighttime delivery. So, if you could clear out the undesirables before dawn... See you soon. I love the war that's going on in the background. All he wants us to do is clear out a few raiders, so I'm not sure what um, that lengthy conversation was all about. Also, we have the man who is always changing clothes, Deacon with us. It's pretty hilarious. Hopefully, we'll see it soon, but like he just he changes clothes all the time, randomly. Sometimes he'll just like take his shirt off and run around for a little while and then like change into a doctor's robe or something. I 100% do not understand him at all. What's up, Edward? We'll maybe talk to Edward later. He's involved in like another quest line or something like that. Okay, so where we're going. Um, killing some raiders, obviously, and where that is is fairly close by, so we'll just we'll run there. Don't have anywhere to fast travel to speed up the process a little bit and maybe we'll even see um, what's exactly going on here. I mean, there's a lot of explosions in the background so that was kind of interesting. It's probably like super mutants and raiders or something like that firing. Usually when you see explosions um, super mutants are typically the wastelanders who use rockets that I've noticed so far so that's probably what's going on um, looks like the Raiders are fairly close hey what's up I hope Deacon's following close behind because I'm just I'm just running around like kind of by myself here okay running pretty low on health and uh, radiation damage has gotten to the point where using a right away probably wouldn't be the worst idea in the world I really don't have very many right away. That is strange because they're fairly common. Well, let's take out this fool over here. Raider Psychos. You tried and died. Thank you for the stim pack. I'll take that. So I don't think these raiders were part of the group of raiders that were supposed to clear out. Maybe they are, but if so, they've wandered quite a ways away. Well, some more dead raiders. These were probably um, part of the group that was like causing a ruckus earlier. Take some free stim packs though. I'm always down for that. I'm hearing bullets whizzing overhead, but um, no enemies are in sight, so I'm not sure what that's all about. Uh, there's the railroad marking, so we're probably in the right place. I can see why it would be annoying to get harass harassed here. Open up this gate. Oh yeah, there are some raiders. And ghouls as well. I'm not a huge fan of fighting ghouls, because um, ghouls don't tend to drop a lot of ammo, although they can. Let's eat up really quickly so we don't get wiped out. Nuka cherries heal quite a bit. I had no idea they were so good. Nuka quantums are like, you know, some of the better healing items in the game, but I don't want to like waste them on regular raiders. We got one more fool in here. Stop lobbing grenades. There we go. Alright, we've cleared out their rendezvous point, so it should be safe for uh, Old Man Stockton and his merry men to hang out with us. Is there anyone else out there? Oh, there's Old Man Stockton. It's not even nighttime. He's a little bit early. 
There's still gunfire going on outside, so I feel like we're not 100% safe yet. Yeah, Deacon's taking pot shots at someone. Look at this guy. Like, now he's in a, a doctor's gown, you know? Like, he just... He's a man of fashion, that's for sure. Alright, this Raider, Raider Psycho could definitely take us out if I'm not careful, so... Uh, we'll eat some stuff here. Finding food is always a struggle in this game. Food and ammunition and better guns and just everything, really. Okay, where you at? There you are. This is probably a fight you shouldn't have taken. Okay, so now we can go back to old man Deacon and his old man ways. Not old man Deacon. Deacon is our follower. Old man Stockton. Hello? You're a bit early. Everything looks clear. This is H222. H2, here's the person I talked to you about. What's up? He looks like a fairly normal human being. Nice to meet you. He's not, obviously, but. Another person actually happy to meet me. This'll take some getting used to. Remember what I told you, H2. I'll fire up the signal. Alright, so. We're going to be liberating this guy from uh, slavery, I guess. Although he's technically not even a human, so I, I'm not really sure, like, morally what to think about liberating synths. I think it's cool, but I don't... I don't know. It's hard to, to kind of quantify all this. Um, so there should be, like, another railroad guy. That's him right there, in fact. Coming to tell us where to go with H2. D2. I think that's his name. Easy there. Don't shoot. Bullseye. Right? And my man Deacon. Still with the same old face? What? It's been three whole months. You're getting slow. I keep meaning to go to the face doctor, but who has the time? Right? I heard about you. Walked the Freedom Trail, cleared out Switchboard. Glad you joined the team. It's nice to meet you. Honor's all mine. Let's take a look at our friend. Hey, you. You okay? A little rattled, but I've never been better. The other man, he said I shouldn't talk too much. I told you right, H2. You'll need a real name and a new face, but we'll get to that. Oh, listen. There's more than raiders behind me. I'm afraid we need a little more help. Of course, it's never that simple. Not a problem. <laughs> Headquarter heavens mean business. We need to get to Ticonderoga Safe House, my home. A lot of sense fresh off the boat crashed there until we smuggled them out of the Commonwealth. Nice that you're willing to do that for us. Yeah. I'm working off sands from a misspent youth. I'll lead the way. Okay, so we'll just have to protect High Rise and um, R2D2 from any kind of like bandit trouble along the way. He seems like a pretty stand up guy, though, so I'm sure we'll be fine. I mean, for the most part, I believe all these people are invincible because that's typically how it goes in quests. Is just people can't die um because it's a bethesda game that's like how they work so you could just like run off i guess and even if the bandits down uh your buddies they'll eventually stand up and be fine man my accuracy is terrible is that a laser shotgun it's pretty awesome i don't know where deacon got that like i didn't give it to him so Okay, he's done. What about the rest of these jokers? We're running a bit low on the old laser pistol ammo as well, so that's worrying to some extent. They're all like holding out in this uh, structure. It's so hard to hit them. These tiny little wooden boards provide like ultimate protection. It's a little bit crazy. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of raiders. You know, if we wanted to avoid raiders, maybe the best thing wouldn't have been to uh, run through the middle of a raider camp. You know, just... I know hindsight is, is perfect and all that, but... I could use a stealth boy, that's a thought. Didn't really consider that before. Let's see what else we got, like, in terms of weapons. We can use this new gun that we picked up a little while ago. Oh, that's pretty sweet. 
I've been meaning to like use this gun, but um, ammo has been a struggle. Look at that machine gun turret up there. Not anymore. All right, let's see if we can finally get rid of these guys. There's an invisible wall right here, apparently, so no. Oh, there's super mutants, too? That's not exactly what I was expecting. There we go. Nice. Got any ammo for me? A paint can. Oh! Shoot! There we go. Luckily, they're just regular super mutants. Not that difficult to deal with, and not um, super mutant skirmishers, which are a little bit more troublesome. Alright, is everyone dead? No? H2 is fine. I'm not worried about him at all. So he's, oh, that's not him. I'm not sure what happened to him. I hope that dead body falling over wasn't him. Ah, he's fine. I hear a super mutant suicider. Okay, cool. We just leveled up. Ah, uh, we gotta run. That sound, man. That sound. It's so scary. He sounds like he's right behind me. Okay. Where's the suicider at? Sounds like he just popped over there. No? Okay. Uh, something blew up, but thank goodness it wasn't my face. <laughs> Both my arms are crippled. Somehow I'm still holding the gun. That's pretty epic. Okay. Is it epic or is it is it epileptic? Probably. I don't know. Alright. Looks like we're good now. There's a super mutant way up on top of that building. He's probably the last enemy that we'll have to face. This gun isn't exactly incredible for like sniping. We'll go back to the laser pistol for a short while. I bet all my allies are just like injured or something and down for the count. The super mutants just keep coming. There we go. The super mutant up on the roof there is still alive. Okay, this this arm crippling thing is ridiculous. So we'll just stim pack. Stim packs are a precious commodity, but when you can't even move your arms, it's probably worth using them. You know, when I accepted this quest, I didn't think the like the most epic fight of the game so far was going to be a direct result of it. That's that's new. Okay, there's there's one of them. Okay, you're done. Pick up some more ammo from you. I have no idea what's shooting me. Poke your head out. I'll blast it off. Huh. Alright, well, I'm not seeing anyone. Let's see if uh, High Rise is ready to leg it out of here. Maybe not so much? Yeah, I think we gotta kill this last Super Mutant before they'll be ready to go. Which means we'll probably have to find, like, a way to get up on that roof? No, he forgot about us. Alright, cool. Let's, let's go. You got anything to say to me? I don't know where Tycon is at, man. You gotta show me. Okay, finally. Looks like we're heading somewhere. I have done this before, and as far as I can remember, it's not that far of a trip from um, when you first meet up with this guy at the chapel to when you eventually like get to his house. 
That spotlight is worrying. That must have been like in use um, from the bandits or something though, because nothing's chasing after us. Bandits do even use stuff like spotlights sometimes to, I don't know, check out what's going on. So since this guy's name is High Rise, he does like kind of live in a high rise. I believe this is it here. This is the pad. We're here, right? Hey, High Rise. We can catch up at Tycon. Just gotta make it there alive. Is this not Tycon? It looks like a Tycon. I've never exactly seen one before to compare it to, but I would say it is. And we're here. All in the night's work for you agent types. Huh. Oh yeah, I do this all the time, even though this is my, uh, I think this is the first, like, official railroad quest. Yeah, he seems like a nice guy. Alright, we're gonna ha definitely, like, just immediately take his, um, invitation. And go up to his house. Try to take some food. Because uh, we used a lot of food. In that uh, engagement with all the super mutants and, and the raiders. Hopefully he has some ammo too. Like ammo would be the best. The best of all. That wasn't too bad. Elevators do like mask loading screens in this game. Um, also like a bed to sleep for an hour to heal up would be awesome. Oh, so this is like a whole safe house. It's not just like his his pad. I don't think I can uh, pick out of there. As awesome as that would be. So far, not seeing a whole lot to loot. Oh, blood packs are good. Um, they provide a pretty decent amount of healing. There's a bed, which we can't sleep on for some reason. Maybe that's because it's the uh, the operating bed. It, would be pretty rude to like sleep on the same place where they're supposed to put injured railroad agents. Yeah, there's like a whole community up here. That's awesome. I'm just gonna like make use of some of your supplies if you don't mind. This is probably a yeah, guns and bullets. Ballistic weapons do extra critical damage. And what exactly is a ballistic weapon and what isn't? Um, I don't know. I wish I knew. I really don't, as of yet, though. There's a ton of money just sitting around. Alright, well, I'll finish looting this place, try to find a place to sleep and heal up, and then we'll continue on with, like, turning in this quest, most likely. Okay, we're back at Railroad HQ, and we're gonna turn this into... Dr. Carrington. I take it the H222 situation has been resolved? Of course. But there's yet more to be done. Since the fall of the switchboard, you've ascertained the fate of all of two safe houses. I want you to check on Gustav. I actually don't remember this guy having an accent, but apparently he does. Details away to the dead drop. Have a care. Odds are very good you're walking into something nasty. That's interesting. Also, he seems to share, like, Deacon's taste in, in clothes, but, like, everyone else here does as well. Oh, Deacon's going for the, uh, the t-shirt and jeans now? Alright, well, he'll, he'll be wearing something else in, like, 25 seconds from now, so we'll disregard that. We still gotta get help from the railroad. I hope that we've done enough in order to ask for help, so... Let's go ahead and talk to no Dez, I guess. Tinker Tom is spearheading a fail-safe plan to deal with this. Oh yeah, there's like important story stuff going on right now and I'm completely ignoring it. But for now, wow. I feel terrible. Keep them clear of our operations. The focus remains on the institute. You've all got jobs to do. Do them. Do you need something? You've got a job to do as well, and that's to uh I have give me stuff. To build a signal interceptor that can get me into the institute. So that's what the Corsair chip was all about. You needed that frequency, I take it. Why? What does this machine do? Um... Did you know the Institute has a teleporter called the Molecular Relay? We've spent dozens of years and too many good agents' lives only to discover not a goddamn thing. And now we have the answer, thanks to you. Teleportation. 
that the Institute could build something so... But we've got work to do. This is our top priority now. I want Tinker Tom to help you in any way possible to get this device built. Cool. So we get to talk to the crazy guy. Let's do that. Oh, that's probably a little forthright to call him crazy, but he, he is he has an interesting personality to say the least. Ready to hand over the plant? This is the big one. How did you know you were asleep? There you go. Let's see what we need. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who wrote this? Some kid with a crayon? She must have been a real big kid. Oh man. Molecular transmission via encrypted RF waves. Those two eggheads are crazy. And you can divert the signal using a heavily modified relay interception. L like a pirate broadcast, you know? That's intense. What are you wearing on your head? Can you build it, Tom? The plans cover all the high-end egghead shit. But they're missing a ton of engineering details. Filling in the gaps will take time. This bit here, the stabilized reflector platform, just needs some high-grade metal. Easy. By the time you finish that, I'll have the rest done. Nice work. Cool. Bro. Let's do this. Glad you're on our side. Hey, tell that to Karen to know. We can scrounge up the platform components you need. No problem. But where to build it? It's gonna need some serious space. This baby's big. I know Pam was running numbers on a good site for a new safe house. It's got a workshop, good location, and the full blessings of her predictive algorithms. Once you set up the safe house, we'll drop off the materials there. Or you could build your own platform somewhere else. I guess. Okay. All right, so we can go to Mercer Station, which I I don't think I've liberated that place yet. Probably not. I haven't liberated very many places yet. So we'll we'll talk to Pam. We'll play along with their little game here. Agent Bullseye has arrived. I have a mission for you. Without increasing efficiency of synth traffic flow, parts of entire organization being compromised. Increase daily. Solution. A new distribution center needs to be established. I get to set up a new base. That's cool. Agent's temperature is irrelevant to this conversation. Mission details commencing. Pacify the target location. Fortify position to protect current and future railroad assets. New distribution center will be codenamed Mercer Safe House. Good luck. So in English, that's just kill the current inhabitants, build some defenses, and claim it as your own. All right, well we'll do that next time. Yeah, just scrounging up some stuff. Bobby Bins, ammo. I must have looted that ammo box before. Ah, oh, Deacon, you're back. What's up? All right, well next time we'll. Clear out Mercer Safe House from bandits or whoever is living there, probably something nasty, and we will get to work on this molecular relay device, or whatever it's called. So yeah, till then, have a good one.